Hey, everybody. Looks like Teresa Caputo has a new show on Lifetime. Amazing. This is called Raising Spirits. And from what I understand, it's going to be a take on her family life, showing behind the scenes, her people who work for her, her family, um, and so on. So, um, just more, more and more. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at a, something that popped up on my feed, which is a sneak peek of Teresa Caputo. And I want to hear what you have to think about this. Okay, so let's look at this. I, I hate to, I hate to, to interrupt, but I really thought that I was going to be able to do this without any interruptions. And I thought once I got into my little cocoon, that spirit was going to leave me alone. Um, I want to talk about the mom that's departed. Do we understand the mom is your mom passed? And, and that's all you need to see. Okay, let's talk about this. What is it you're seeing that because we are a generation of people who are raised on um, television and movies and so on, that we ignore everything that's happening? We ignore um, the things that are right there in front of us, but we just can't see them. Like the fact that she is attending this, I don't know what kind of class that is or what kind of exercise that is looks a little weird to me but okay whatever um that there's a camera crew right there why is there a camera crew right there why is her camera crew right there so we're led to believe in this new show raising spirits that the cameras follow her around you know like they did often with her 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 show before the long island medium and as they travel around, they're filming her in real life. Like they just happen to come across this instance of this woman, Teresa Caputo, doing her thing. Like either she does this all day long, every day, everywhere, or it's that one moment and they just happen to catch it. All right. The other thing that we need to remember is that there's no way... They're going to put together a film crew in this private building where they're doing private things in these swings with these women unless she has permission to record these women and to film there. It's not like she just, somebody standing there with like a buttonhole camera on their shirt and they just are wandering around and all of a sudden it is pointed in the right direction whenever she's on her swing and she says that little thing she says, like I was trying to just mind my own business and my little cocoon thing. And, and all of a sudden somebody's dead mother starts talking to me. So no, that is filmed with a very high quality camera. There are multiple cameras in there from the angles that you can see they're filming Teresa, they're filming these other women. There's multiple camera angles in there. So, th so this is a set it is, it is designed to film this situation. The women there have given permission to be on camera. Therefore, they didn't just raise their hand and say, yeah, go ahead and film me for a TV show. No, they have to sign documents. <laughs> they have to sign these documents. So therefore, therefore, she either knows who they are or and it's not as impromptu as it appears on this or it is impromptu as far as she's gotten permission to be there and to film there and these women know who she is and what's going on and the rest of it's cold reading it's, okay i listened to it and it's cold reading i mean it could be it's most likely cold reading she's saying kind of in the general direction of these women, somebody's mom has died. Whose mom has died? 
Okay. Well, they're all like in their 60s. So could very well be any one of those five. And if it wasn't mom, it could be grandma or mother-in-law. You get the you get the gist of this. And then she says, well, the once she has somebody who's motivated enough to say, yeah, that's me, then what happens is Teresa's able to just give her spiel. Now remember, Teresa Caputo's done thousands of readings. She's very good at this. Cold reading is a skill. You have to practice it and you practice it and you practice it and you fine uh, fine tune it. So the thing she's telling this woman about, she says, there are things that you had to do for um, your mom or for your family that th your mother is thanking you for or that a mother sh uh, wouldn't expect their child to have to do. And it hit home with this woman and she starts talking about how, you know, she raised her siblings and so on. At no time does Teresa say, hey, you lady right there in the swing near me, your mother, Elizabeth Fredrickson, she wants to reach out to you. Now, um, she's telling me that um, these things, and, and I want you to know, I know it's your mom because she's giving me, uh, this is the phone number that was your phone number when you were a child. And we lived at this address whenever you were raised. And your dog was named Boo Boo and you had a kitten named uh, Monster Tail and some kind of evidence. But no, this is the best she's doing. It's just general cold reading. When the woman relates later about what happened, she's going to say, oh my gosh, Teresa Caputo was in contact with my mother and she was spot on. She told me things there's no way any bales could know. All Teresa's doing is just skillfully going through um, this conversation with this woman being led by the emotions of the woman and the woman is giving more feedback and it's just cold reading it's really sad we need tv shows that are going to show how this stuff is really done like here on this channel psychics explained i hope you subscribe and leave me comments i really enjoy the little community we've developed here in the meantime, we have more of this information, more of this misinformation going out there as if it's real. You notice the music and how it's very like building so that we know that this is creepy and that it's going to be emotional. The music plays a huge role in what is happening. Also, these things are carefully edited. They're sound. I mean, there was probably somebody with one of those big um, things over her head of her, right over her. I mean, they're filming Everybody in that room knows they're filming. And when they're edited the way they're edited with the music added on, it looks like gold. It looks like there's no way anybody else could, anybody could know except her poor dead unnamed mother talking to this unnamed woman who happens to be sitting near her, who I'm sure filled out forms beforehand, giving permission it was okay to film there. So this raising spirits will be out soon. Don't fall for it, you guys. Don't fall for it.